ACC 240, Chapter 6, Governmental Accounting. Uh, we're going to look at the homework exercise that we had in Chapter 6 regarding the consumption method for the uh, supplies inventory. And uh, uh, the problem or exercise started with the uh, concept of ordering $740,000 worth of supplies. When you see that word ordering, I want you to think in government a purchase order or PO is issued. In this case, it was for $740,000. We're going to debit the encumbrance account and credit the reserve for encumbrance. This is not new. We've done it, uh, done this entry before, and uh, we're ordering the merchandise. Step two, the merchandise or supplies inventory is received. So when it's received, all we're going to do is just reverse our original encumbrance and we receive $741,000 worth of supplies. But we're going to reverse the same amount that we had originally encumbered on the PI. So we're going to debit the reserve for encumbrance account for $740,000 and credit the encumbrance account for the same amount, $740,000. PO is issued, supplies are received, and the problem it said $741,000, okay? But since we only encumbered $740,000, we're going to reverse that original encumbrance for $740,000, okay? I want you to understand, and I want you to be very comfortable with this concept and with this, these uh, two journal entries. Uh, for ordering and receiving the supplies. Now, the next step is we need to show the asset appearing on the balance sheet for the supplies inventory. In the consumption method, that is what we're going to do. So we're going to show the supplies inventory, and I'm going to call the account inventory supplies, and we actually purchased or received 741000 And that's not unusual. Usually it's a little more or a little less than what you had encumbered. And so we received that 741000 And the credit will be a vouchers payable account. We'll eventually pay for this, but we're setting up the liability as vouchers payable at this point. And again, our journal entry balances, debit inventory supplies, 741000 credit vouchers payable for 741000 Now, people got stuck at this point. They weren't sure what the last journal entry is. Under the consumption method, we're going to realize the expenditures of the amount of inventory. In this case, they didn't give you the amount of expenditures. So what you had to do, and uh, my suggestion was, would be to draw a T account. Okay. And we're going to call it Inventory Supplies. And our problem gave us a beginning balance in that inventory of $86,000. So we're going to post that to the debit side of the T account. Our problem also gave us an ending inventory of $90,000. So that's going to be our ending balance in the T account. We're showing and we're going to post the purchase of $741,000 here, okay? And I'm just going to call that entry A, $741,000. And you need to ask yourself, okay, what do I need to put on my T account in order to get from a beginning balance of $86,000 with an, in, an increase in the inventory amount or debit to the inventory amount of 741000 to give us an ending inventory of 90000 That is our ending inventory, and that, that is the amount that was given in the problem. Our plug number here is going to be 737000 Get our calculators and you can do the math. We need to journalize that $737,000. We'll draw a line here under the first entry, and let's just make up or let's just write down our, what our journal entry would be. We're going to post 
our inventory supply reduction right from our T account, and we see that's a credit of 737000 This is a lesson in journal entry formation, okay, from, from T account. Now, we know the journal entry's got balance. It's going to be 737000 What's the debit going to be? An expenditure account. An expenditure account. And this will complete our journal entry. We're realizing the expenditure account for all of the supplies that have been used um, uh, during the physical year. And so we are crediting the inventory supply account. We're going to debit the expenditure account. This is what uh, I was looking for in, ex in this exercise in Chapter 6. If you have questions about this, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me, email, call, come by my office. I want you to really understand this concept, the flow of encumbering the purchase order, receiving the merchandise, getting an invoice, and debiting the asset account, on our balance sheet, say if it was in the general fund, realizing the liability on our balance sheet, and realizing the expenditure when the supplies have been used. We back into that expenditure number knowing what our ending balance is in that inventory account. Beginning inventory plus our purchases, ending inventory, and our plug number is our expenditure amount, which is also our reduction or credit to the inventory supply account.